guys, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the message that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope that everybody is doing well and feeling well on tonight. So it looks like somebody is doing some indulging, possibly overindulging. Somebody could even be crying over spilled milk. Okay. Somebody could even just be bored and discontent. Okay. We also have the eight of wands here. Okay. Um, the eight of wands talks about swiftness. Okay. Something moving fast. Speed. Uh, it usually speaks to swift communication, messages, news, information. Going back and forth here. We have the fool here. So the fool talks about um, one taking a leap of faith. Somebody, I feel like somebody was just kind of chilling, okay? Bored, discontent, maybe indulging, and whatever they indulge in, alcohol, their beverage of choice, whatever, just chilling, okay? And they receive some type of messages, okay? Some swift, fast communication came through, okay? And this person jumped up and took a leap of faith to do something here, okay? We also have the nine of wands here, which talks about fortitude. It talks about uh, defensiveness, protection, um, as well as one feeling like a sacrifice needs to be made here, okay? Um, oh, shit. Now we have the Ten of Wands, which speaks to oppression, burdens, hardships, problematic situations, stress, um, anxiety, feelings of overwhelm or overwhelming type of energy, um, one feeling overworked. Or so let me look at this. Hold on. So like I said, somebody was just kind of doing their own thing. Somebody could have been chilling. They could have been at home, kind of bored, discontent. Um, Maybe indulging in some type of drinks or just whatever. Somebody was just chilling. When they received some type of messages here, okay? And this person jumped up into action. They they, they took a leap of faith, okay? To do, to do something here. To, to defend themselves in some type of way. Because somebody feels like they need some type of protection here. And somebody is feeling very burdened and stressed by something that's going on here, okay? So we have the star here. Somebody could actually be a star, okay? This could be um, somebody who has some type of star status, okay? Whether on a lower level or higher level here. Okay, the star talks about hope, though. We also have the, the three of pentacles here, which talks about works. It talks about collaborations. It talks about, um, obviously, finances, money, and resources. Usually with the three of pentacles, it talks about collaborations, contracts, um, and, and things like that. It's a group of individuals coming together, collaborating together for the purposes of money. Okay. So what else is going on here? So we have the Princess of Swords here. Somebody could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
this person could have been in collaboration with with three other people three or more people for the purposes of money this is aquarius libra or gemini this is an individual who took some type of leap of faith after they received some type of uh communication of some kind maybe pertaining to this collaboration pertaining to some type of contractual ag agreement pertaining to some type of works that they were involved in this person jumped up and made a leap of faith took a leap of faith to to do something Spirit, what else is going on here so we have the knight of wands here so this is going to be fire sign energy Sagittarius, aries or leo we also have the prince of wands here It's interesting because on the, the Princess of Swords, we have the Activist. The Knight of Wands, we have the rock star, And the Prince of Wands, we have the Journalist here. So I feel like these are the three individuals who collaborated together. These three individuals have been working together on a, a particular assignment or project or a job or something. They've been working together for the purposes of money. Somebody's very defensive now, now. Feel like they need to protect themselves. Somebody has become very burdened by the situation. It's like this air sign, you know, is ready to foolishly, blindly take a leap of faith, dive into something. This Knight of Wands is the one who is feeling defensive, feeling like they need to protect themselves from something or someone, possibly even feeling like some type of sacrifice needs to be made in an effort to get something done. But the, the, the Prince of Wands, this person is feeling burdened by this entire situation, okay? Oppressed even, stressed. Yeah, we got, we got the Prince of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is the hacker here. So an activist, the rock star, the journalist, the hacker. This is crazy. This is a trip, guys. This, whatever they had going on, this group could have been arrested together, or either they could be traveling together. The chariot with the three of cups. We don't see what else is going on here. Hold on, guys. Let me grab this other deck real quick. Um, which one do I want to do? Okay, spirit. So let's um let's clarify these messages real quick before we move any further. Spirit, clarify the four of cups with the star. this for okay so we have the well oh damn we have the five of ones here okay so there's some type of jealousy envy hatred spitefulness competition that's going on okay conflict competitions annoyances of some kind that's going on here somebody could somebody could whoever's in this star energy or has this star status somebody's like maybe crying over spilled milk in some type of way could be overly indulging in alcohol or particular substances or something um somebody likes to live beyond their means though somebody likes to act like they're living in luxury when they're not I see this King of Swords here. So whoever this um, air sign is may be a masculine energy. Spirit clarify the Eight of Wands and the Three of Coins. Eight of Wands, Three of Coins. So we have the Ace of Cups here, okay? So there's some extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions pertaining to what's going on, okay? 
I feel like there could have even been an outpour of uh, someone's emotions due to this jealousy, due to this competition. Okay. Spirit. Yeah, Spirit say that's the truth. That's clarity here. This is sitting here with the fool. And the... Uh, this air sign here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. So the Ace of Swords talks about truth. It talks about clarity. Um, it talks about cutting to the truth of the matter in a situation here. Sometimes in, in certain situations, uh, it can speak to victories here, okay? But what is sitting here aligns with the Five of Wands, the Ace of Cups here. We know that there's some type of strife. There's some type of conflict. There's some type of competition, jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, bitterness, okay, um, amongst a group of individuals, okay? Um, this could be because of this collaboration that took place that went on, but there's like an overflow of emotions here, okay? So with the eight of one sitting here on the three of pentacles, somebody could have really like, you know, let somebody have it to let them know how they felt about something that was going on here. So to clarify the nine of wands with the with the knight of wands, we have the eight of pentacles here. So whatever is going on definitely has to do with a particular job. Work somebody is doing or a particular job or, or the money one is supposed to be making from the work that they do here, okay? There could be a lot of hostile energy amongst all of this, okay? But whoever this fire sign is, feel like they're, they're, it's feeling very defensive right now, okay? It's feeling like they need to protect themselves in some type of way because of their job or because of this job. So we clarify the Ten of Wands and the Prince of Wands. So somebody... Somebody is trying to stand their ground to overcome some type of conflict here. Somebody's definitely stressed, okay? The strength card talks about courage, faith, endurance, vitality, okay? Um, somebody, somebody is really dealing with a lot. Somebody feels oppressed or burdened by a situation that they're in here. Somebody could even be stuck in some type of contract here. But there's competitions and extreme feelings, overwhelming emotions pertaining to some type of truth or clarity that came out about somebody's job or the work that they do here. And so somebody is trying to... Somebody's trying to stand their ground in some type of way to overcome some type of conflict that is going on. But it definitely has caused some major changes to happen with the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. This air sign could have spoke some type of truth. Whoever this masculine air sign is could have spoke some type of truth or clarity pertaining to something this could be what has somebody defensive or feeling like they need to protect themselves. Yeah. Okay, guys. So let's, let's get some further clarification here. See what else, what else is going on here. But it's definitely, it's like you, there's two or three people here. Okay. Because so you either got two different fire signs here. Or perhaps this is just one fire sign and this is an air sign that has been working together. But it seems like there's been a collaboration of three people who are working together. Okay? But definitely some type of confusion going on here. So let's just see what's happening here. So we clarify the four of cups with the star and the five of wands. So we have here, keep your distance, stay away from the enemy, choose your friends wisely. When people show you who they really are, believe them. Step away from those who do not serve your highest good or have your best interest at heart here, okay? So we're going to clarify the Eight of Wands with the Three of Coins and the Ace of Cups. Okay. 
So I see this air sign here. We have the world here, okay? So there has been some type of completion, some type of ending. Something has gone full cycle. There has been a completion of something. Something is coming to an end or has come to an end for something new to begin, okay? I feel like somebody may have shut something down with some type of communication or something that was sent out here, okay? Whoever this air sign is may have been heartbroken by something going on with a large group of people. Spirit, clarify the Ace of Swords, the Fool, and the Princess of Swords. So, yeah. So, somebody, whoever this air sign is, spoke some type of truth or clarity about something here, okay? But this person felt heartbroken by something here. We have sorrow, betrayal. This is lost, disappointment, misery, uh, lying, cheating. Something that definitely caused somebody some, some sadness or anger. Which is the is the reason why something came to an end. Spirit, clarify the eight of eight of uh, coins here. So this is the, mm -mm. so we have trouble in minds here. Okay, so this talks about loss, disappointment, layoffs, breakups, stress, anxiety, sadness, depression. Um, there's a lot of different things on here, guys, okay? So somebody is having trouble in the mind just because they're they're dealing with some problems in, ger in general. They're worried, they're concerned. Um, this could have to do with a lot of different things from life changes to work to home to family, love relationships, money issues, friends, uh, associates, etc. here, okay? But somebody is having some trouble in the mind pertaining to their job, pertaining to the money, uh, their money, okay? But uh, to clarify strength here, we have here, this is this is my uh, oppressed card. So this card says oppressed, bad deal, set up for failure, bogus industry contract, modern day slavery, shady elite here, okay? So somebody got wrapped up into some type of bad deal with someone and, and they're feeling oppressed right now. They're feeling stuck in a situation. They're feeling very burdened by the situation um, as well, Spirit is saying here, okay? So somebody should have kept their dif distance away from something or someone here. But there's been a completion of a cycle, nonetheless. There's been a completion and an ending to something. Somebody is, is, is dealing with some type of heartache or heartbreak. Now they're having trouble in the mind because they got wrapped up into some type of bad deal. They were set up for failure here. Yeah. Somebody is also doing some spell work here. And there's a lot of gossip and rumors that's going around as well here, guys. Okay. So, um, let's see what other messages. Spirit, give us um, clear and accurate messages. So there's envy over this situation, okay? partnerships, collaborations, or what have you. Um, I can't... Mm -mm. Somebody... I'm going to see if it comes back out again. Somebody has some addictions. Somebody has drug addictions. They live a rock star lifestyle. They might not make it. Yeah, I see it again. Addictions. I see addictions as well as illnesses illness here there's a bunch of lies and deceptions with someone a narc need help somebody is a soulless being mm. we got devil worshipers hate Betrayal for the love of money. Somebody could try to plant some evidence on somebody as well. Sir, what else is going on?
We have trying to recruit you against your will. The rabbit hole goes deep. All in your feelings. Oh, I also see I'm watching you and organized crime here. Sure, what else is going on here? Somebody's whole family is in on something here. Um, if this is an artist or something that this is about. Sure, what else is going on? We have uh, revenge here. So somebody wants revenge on somebody. Somebody is a targeted individual here. Somebody is plotting, planning, and scheming. We got plots, plans, and schemes here. Okay. Somebody's playing with demons. Someone's got a karmic lover and friend spirit. What else is going on? Okay, we got liars, cheaters, and thieves. Wolves and snakes in sheep's clothing. Feeling stuck in a karmic cycle. Spirit, what else is going on? So I see a male, a masculine energy. Somebody is, somebody, somebody could be trying to set somebody up to blood sacrifice them. Somebody's been set up to be blood sacrificed here. Somebody might be uh, stuck in a contract here. They want to control you. Whoever these individuals, somebody's got a lot of family secrets, okay? So, um, this may have something to do with a celebrity as well. I do see the celebrity card here. We got nothing but drama. Can't trust this person. So, somebody can't trust uh, maybe somebody that they're working with, somebody that they're around. Okay, I do see masculine energy here. We have male, man, boy here. Okay, so we know we're dealing with a masculine or at least one of these people, perhaps that's a celebrity person. So what else is going on here? Yeah, so Rockstar Lifestyle might not make it. Blood sacrifice. That's probably how they're going to take this person out. This person may have, uh, obviously have an addiction of some kind. Um If and when they sacrifice this person, which... I don't, I'm not necessarily getting that it may happen right away. It, it may or may not, but it's still coming out nonetheless. Like it's in the energy, especially with all this hostility and je jealousy and bad collaborations and set up for failures, bad deals, bogus contract, industry contracts and all kinds of shit. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's dealing with addiction. Somebody is over, also overwhelmed by demons here. Somebody may be being used as a sex worker. They could be selling ass to the devil. Is there any other messages? Mm -mm. I see, um, let me see if it comes back out again. But I see willing slaves. So somebody, somebody sold out knowing what they had to do to get it and they was with it. Perhaps until now, but yeah. See that sex worker selling ass to the devil again. Any other messages?
Okay, guys. Okay, so that's all the messages Spirit wanted to come from um, this deck here. But somebody is definitely, um, this is an up and coming celebrity. Okay, uh, regardless to this person's, you know, official uh, title or status, like this person could be like, you know, you know, just about anybody could be a celebrity these days. Okay, you got these little internet, you know, celebrities and then you have superstar celebrities, okay? So somebody could be, whether they're an up-and-coming celebrity or they're established and well-known on a lower level or higher level, somebody's in that star status, though, okay? Somebody uh, should have definitely kept their distance from certain individuals here because I, I feel like not doing so is what has struck, uh, struck up like some type of jealousy or envy or hatred or spitefulness, okay? Because it says keep your in, uh, keep your distance and stay away from the enemy here, okay? But because this has occurred here, somebody is all up in their feelings and their emotions about it. I mean, it's caused something to come full cycle. It's caused something to come to a, uh, you know, a screeching halt. Um, like fast, quick, in a hurry here, okay? And um, it's somebody is now maybe putting somebody on blast, speaking some type of truth or some type of clarity about something. Um, there could be some type of heartache or heartbreak or just, just lying. Um, somebody being cheated in some type of way. Um, betrayal. Um, somebody being disappointed or at a loss in some type of way here, okay? And somebody is dealing with some trouble in the minds over their career, over their money, okay? Yet somebody is trying to stand their ground and stay strong because they're stuck in, in, in some type of bad deal or could have been set up for failure or got involved in some type of bogus contract, okay? So, that's what's going on here, y'all. I'm going to pull from um, maybe a couple more decks and see if Spirit have any other messages. Y'all, messages are going pretty quickly tonight, which I'm not complaining. <laughs> so we have here false person. Somebody is fake, phony, fraudulent, untrue. Somebody's a liar, cheater, deceiver, and manipulator, con artist. Somebody is fraternizing with the enemy, okay? Whoever that may be. Because somebody is wearing a mask. They're not who they appear to be, Okay. Um, they're a liar, a cheater, a thief, a manipulator, a con artist. They're wearing a mask. They're not who they appear to be. This person is just as fake, funny, and fraudulent as they want to be. They're two-faced and they're a backstabber. And this person is disloyal here. Somebody is a false person. And it's the reason why Spirit is saying, keep your distance. Okay? It's the reason why there's some type of jealousy going on. Spirit, clarify this communication here with this and this uh, collaboration. Ace of Cups and the world okay so yeah somebody received some type of messages news information or communication from someone and it came through swiftly okay like somebody may have found out you know something was going on or some somebody just received some type of messages fast quick and in a hurry from someone here okay and i feel like somebody you know may have let somebody have it so to clarify um the full this air sign, the ace of swords, the three of swords. So something definitely brought about some type of change here. So we have tall and labor here. So somebody did some hard work, okay? Somebody may have spake some type of truth or clarity pertaining to this, okay? Something definitely brought about a change. I keep seeing the main male here as well. So we're clear for nine of wands with the knight of wands here. 
Okay, so something definitely has to do with somebody's occupation here, okay? The, the money that they make from the work that they do, as well as their, their job in general here. Somebody is in despair here, okay? You see that not hiring sign back there? Somebody is stressed, somebody's worried, somebody's concerned. Um, somebody is in despair over a job, over money. That could have been a theft as well. Or somebody could be a thief. Any of the messages for you? So this situation definitely brought about a change here, okay? A massive change in this situation, which is why all of the why all of the burdens, why the hostility, why the the defensiveness, okay? Um, there's definitely a lot of envy and jealousy. Like I like for some reason, like this, like. Um, I don't know what example I can use here. I feel like, um, so say you were, say you're signed, say you were signed to someone in particular, okay? Say you, say you were, um, signed to say Rock Nation, okay? And somebody go, somebody, Say this person was signed to Rock Nation. I'm not saying this person is who I'm talking about here, okay? Say somebody was signed to Rock Nation. And without Rock Nation's knowledge um, of any type of collaborations or other things, this person go and, and, you know, meet up with shit, I don't know what, Interscope Records or, you know what I'm saying, like anybody, whoever, Um and they collaborating and they doing this and doing that or what have you. And, but you're signed to Rock Nation. You understand? You see how this would create like some type of, um, uh, conflict in some type of way. You understand what I'm saying? I just use that as an example. I'm not saying that the people here, um, has any dealings with those, those, you know, people who run those companies or anything. I just use that as an example of kind of the energy that I'm getting. I feel like somebody may have like already been working with someone, had a team, had, uh, I don't know, management or something like that and may have went and linked up. With someone that they should have been keeping their distance from. Someone spirit is referring to. Hmm. Someone they should have been keeping their distance from. And it has caused some type of strife. It's caused some type of conflict. It's caused envy and jealousy and hatred and spitefulness and bitterness and angriness and different things like that or what have you. But it's interesting because the false person is sitting here with the star whoever this star is they indulge a lot in something either alcohol substances um with other people like this person may not even be loyal to the people that's loyal to them to mix and mingle with other people type of thing you understand what i'm saying because this false person comes out on the star like, they should have been keeping their distance from someone in particular, but I feel like they linked up with, they collaborated with the wrong person without, like, their squad, their team, their, I don't know, management, their, you know, however that goes or whatever, and it's created a problem. And now there's just a, a, an outpour of emotions. You know, like anger and you know, this can be any type of emotions. You understand what I'm saying? Because the Ace of Cups is any type of emotion, but it's extreme. So if a person is mad, they're like extremely mad. They're outraged. If a person is sad, they are like extremely down in the dumps. They're stressed. They're depressed. They're just, you know, 
really, really down. Okay. If a person is happy, they're like overjoyed. They're with joy. Their cup is full to the front point. It runneth over. Like you ever seen a person cry tears of happiness. They're just so happy about something that they cry. So the ace of cups is that it's feelings and emotions, but it depends on what else is around it to, um, you know, put that magnitude to whatever feelings it is here, okay? And on either side of the Ace of Cups, you have the Five of Wands and you have the Ace of Swords here, okay? So, there is, I mean, you know, somebody has created some type of hostile work environment and somebody is mad as hell about it, okay? Um, somebody is also like, have put in a lot of hard work and is heartbroken by something and could just be, you know, real cutthroat and ruthless at the mouth with this Eight of Swords because the Eight of Swords, like, slice and dice, you know what I'm saying? Like, decapitate your ass with words type of thing. Um, it's what the Ace of Swords is because the Ace of Swords cuts to the truth of the matter, okay? It's the Ace of Swords is truth. It is clarity, you know, is that, you know, that sword, that armor, of, of truth, you know, coming down on a situation here, okay? And it just so happens after that you have the Eight of Pentacles and then the Strength card here, okay? So clearly, this is happening as it relates to somebody's job, somebody's work, somebody's occupation here, okay? And somebody is like all wrapped up in their mind over this situation now because somebody didn't fuck that. Somebody did the wrong damn thing, okay? Um... Somebody also drink too much, smoke too much, get high too much. Like, this person overindulges in things, like, um, excessively. And it doesn't matter what it is. It could be drugs, it could be alcohol, it could be sex, it could be um, overexerting themselves, it could be friendliness, it could be anything, but it's overly indulging in whatever that is. Now this person is dealing with some type of burdens. And this person is in despair now, but they're still wrapped into some, like, they're still wrapped into some type of bad deal. They were set up for failure in some type of way here. Somebody could have. Somebody, uh, somebody may have been arrested, went to jail here. Because in this deck, if you look at the uh, Ten of Swords here, you see this guy? He's in jail. He's in prison. But it doesn't necessarily have to mean that this person is locked up, but it's definitely a factor. Because even though this says despair here, so this person's like down and out, and you see the sign behind them saying it's not hiring, it just means this person is not working right now. But whatever they were in, contractual agreement, whatever, whatever they're still in this. You know what I'm saying? But they have been set up in some type of, like, they set up for failure. Like, some type of badass deal that they are wrapped up in here, okay? And... In the long run, they could be trying to... Sacrifice this person? Yeah, there's a lot that's going on here, though. This person could have been... This person could have been involved with some a sex worker here. Or perhaps being used as a sex worker here, okay? This person is so overwhelmed by demons, though, okay? They could be in the long run, like I said, trying to blood sacrifice this person, but this person do live a life, a rock star lifestyle, okay? Spirit said it might not make it. Whoever this is, is a masculine here, okay? This person can't trust nobody. We got can't trust nobody. There's nothing but drama around this person. This is a celebrity here, okay? They want to control this person. 
This person is feeling stuck in a karmic cycle right now, okay? There's a bunch of wolves and sna uh, snakes and sheep's clothing around this person. Liars, cheaters, and thieves here, okay? But a lot of plots, plans, and schemes is being put into play in something here, okay? Somebody is also playing with demons here. Somebody could also be doing like some type of spell work or something on this person. This person has been targeted in some type of way as a targeted individual, okay? Somebody's all in their feelings. It is, it's either the celebrity person or it's the person, somebody that this person was working with or something. Something was done to this person out of revenge. Spirit so said the rabbit hole goes deep. Betrayal for the love of money trying to recruit you against your will. They could have tried to get this person to sleep with this sex worker here. Somebody's a false fucking person, though. There's some type of hate. We got soulless beings, devil worshipers, a narc need help, lies and deception, illness. Somebody could have a illness. A sex worker might have had an illness, and a celebrity might have refused that person. But there is a lot of addictions from sex, drugs, gambling, alcohol, porn, toxicity, envy here, okay? This sex worker, um, this sex worker selling ass to the devil could have had some type of illness here. They could have been trying to get this, um, they could have wanted this celebrity who live in this rock star lifestyle. They wanted this masculine celebrity, To um, they wanted this masculine celebrity to get with this sex worker here, okay? This person is this person has addictions and is all about living that rock star lifestyle or whatever. But there's something I feel like this person knew that something shady or was off with this sex worker here. Because this person is a false person. Somebody is a false person here. This woman here is hiding herself. Not because. Not because. Um, she is sneaky. And, and, and manipulative. And, mis and mischievous. And, and things like that or whatever. But if you think about other people who are sneaky and mis mischievous. And manipulative. Do they walk around with a mask on or something hiding their face? No, not all the time. They normally just show their true selves and they're walking around just doing sneaky shit, you know, and this, that, and other. This person is hiding themselves because there's hiding, they're hiding something about them. This, uh, this chick here is hiding herself because she's transgender. This person is transgender. And is also the sex worker here. Something went down with this situation here, okay? There's devil worshipers and, 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 ugh. but see, there's some type of, something went down with whatever this little collaboration, meet up, whatever happened here with this, with the star, and it started here with the star and the, the, the indulgence card here with the four of cups here. Okay, and like I said, this person, he felt some type of boredom or discontent. He was overly indulging or whatever they had going on. But he felt some type of boredom and discontent here, okay? Whatever the deal was, this person was supposed to be getting with this person here, okay? Which I feel like he refused, okay? Now there's some type of revenge and hate, okay? As well as envy as it relates to the situation here, okay? Um, somebody is dealing with devil worshipers. They're being betrayed for the love of money here, okay? This person is being targeted on purpose here. There's a bunch of lies and deceptions. This person can't trust anybody, okay? This person is dealing with a bunch of soulless beings here, okay? The whole thing was this, this, this. That's why spirits say the rabbit hole goes deep, okay? The rabbit hole goes deep in this situation here, okay? Because... Yeah, so we got liars, cheaters, and thieves here. Okay? These wolves and snakes and sheep's clothing. Okay? But the, here's the problem here. They're trying to recruit this person against their will. Okay? Whoever this celebrity person, this, this masculine celebrity here, they wanted him to sleep with somebody of the same sex. 
some type of sex rituals. They wanted him to sleep with somebody of the same sex, so they 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 sent in a transgender. Okay, this was the part of uh, uh, his recruitment here. Okay, they was doing this in an effort to control this person. Okay. They was even playing with demons and doing spell work on this person as well here, okay? But this situation ended up being nothing but drama because I feel like this person, um, I feel like this masculine may have refused something, okay? Which is where this revenge, this hate, this envy stem from here, okay? This person had been set up in some type of way, okay? This person, they could have set this person up. This person could now be... Um, in jail or something here this person is in despair but they're still like they didn't got wrapped up into some type of bad deal this person was set up for failure yep some type of revenge is happening here okay Due to a situation that's going on here. The trippy thing about it all, I kept on seeing something like the Ten of Cups kept trying to come out. And even when I used my other personalized deck that I made, um, that uh, my family card was trying to come out even in that deck or what have you. And even when I used my other deck like this, of the ones that I made, the card that says the whole family is in on it, um... A lot of family stuff kind of come. Whatever's happening with this person, their family is in on what's being done. Like their family's been paid off to try to blind eye or know what's going on, know about the setup. I really feel like whoever this person is, like I said, I don't feel like this is something that's going to happen today or tomorrow, but I see it. Okay. So it, it could be, you know, a couple months from now to a couple years from now to you know, whenever, um, in the future tense, but I can see it and I feel the energy. They're setting this person up to be a sacrifice, okay? But what this person is enduring and going through right now is out of revenge, hate, and envy here, okay? Because they were trying to recruit this person against their will. There was some type of recruitment, like, um, like initiation, recruitment, uh, you know, whatever, um, of some here, okay, but there was definitely some type of collaboration that 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 was supposed to go on between like three or more people here for the purposes of money, okay, and um, yeah, things didn't go as planned, okay, but I feel like, and it's interesting because I feel like because this person. Because, like, this person was being tried either way, okay? Because I feel like because this person live a rock star lifestyle, might not make it here. And because this person has addictions to, like, sex or drugs or alcohol or, you know, whatever, um, in, in this celebrity status or whatever, they may have shown that, you know, right circumstances, right situation, you know, right, you know, right time, right place. This this male here, you know, he'll go on and dive deep in that rabbit hole, okay, with this sex worker, false person here, okay, which is the transgender here, okay. Somebody also has an illness here, okay. So they was like trying to trap this person in more ways than one. Like even if this person had, that's so cold, bloody bro. Even if this person had a went along with, um. You know, if this person had not have known, you know, what, like, had not of, um, you know, dismissed the idea of whatever was being set up in this little collaboration or whatever, had this person went along with it, you know, had they been too high or too drunk or too throwed off in whatever type of way, just to not to be paying attention and just kind of living carelessly and recklessly and doing whatever, um, this person may have... If this person would have messed with that sex worker, they would have contracted something. Because that sex worker has an illness. So they, do you see what I'm saying? They were trying to trap this person in more than one way. 
And I feel like the whole, we're trying to recruit you against your will, the whole initiation uh, ordeal with all of that or whatever was for the purposes of this person's career. Well, for the purposes of making more money, you know, get more deals, get more geeks, you know, however that should go or what have you. But, you know. And all of that fell apart when all this other stuff happened and then it was just revenge hate and envy now okay so that's what's going on here guys um i do thank you all for listening and for watching um this could be about anybody but i really kind of feel like um it's for somebody in particular like this person is a rapper Okay, who well, I believe this situation happened with, okay, but this could be, you know, currently going on with someone else as well, okay, but, um, yeah, guys, so thank you all for listening and for watching. If you'll be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any persons interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at three six diamond. Um As always, guys, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby sonny. So yeah. We got a natural disaster here, okay? But something something was a risk, okay? Somebody expected this person to take some type of risk or this person took some type of risk and there's some type of frustrations over something here. But this person is in now in survival mode. So there was definitely a disaster um, that took place from, this, uh, from a situation that went on, okay? Yeah. Yeah, now this person could be dealing with some legal situations. Some type of legal matter over this, which I feel like, I feel like it, even it's staged. And so I feel like that a lot of times with a lot of these celebrities, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Because if you think about it, who in hell wasted their rich and famous to, you know what I'm saying, start committing crimes and shit like that. So it, it's always amazing to me when they have these people, one minute they put them up on pedestals and they make them seem like they're the greatest thing ever. The next thing, you know, they're like charging them with a crime or they're sending them off to a rehab or they're sending them off to some psych ward or, you know what I'm saying, something or what have you. Um... But yeah, so there's definitely a matter here with money. I've seen this one before. I've seen this one here. Okay, so a, a, something disastrous came from a situation of uh, this uh, this collaboration that's coming together of uh, particular individuals here. Okay. There's a legal situation. We have accident here. So some type of accident or incident occurred. Um, it says danger, caution, or injury here. Mm. Something could have been faded though, but yeah, trap. This person was trapped. This was this was, this this was a setup. This person was damned if they do, damned if they didn't. This person was damned even if he had did what what what. Th they expected of him to do okay and this person was screwed in not doing so you understand what i'm saying um this was a lose lose situation basically okay so they set this disaster of a situation up in the first way in the first place trying to basically bully this person into submission okay basically um trying to recruit them against their will here okay um thinking they was gonna be too rock star wasted to uh you know what i'm saying um pay attention to what was going on something for the purposes of money here okay but there was a situation 
that ended up popping off here, okay? Look at this card here. This is the Four of Cups here, okay? You see the milk and the cookies and things or whatever. This is like that overindulgence card here. But you see this card also says luxury. But the Four of Cups can also be like overindulgence. It also could be boredom and discontent. But what I want you to pay attention to, you see how you see these two men here? And they're stripped. This guy got his legs wide the fuck open, okay, with like just draws on and a wet beater. And this guy looks like he has nothing on. He has no shirt, no nothing, whatever. You see what they wanted to get down. And what you see here with the milk and cookies here, and you see how to spill milk and different shit like that or whatever. They were indulging a lot, okay? So whether drugs or alcohol or what have you, this is what they expected to go down, okay? This was... um some type of initiation attempt, some type of, uh, they were trying to recruit this person against their will. You understand what I'm saying? I guarantee you this person is all for, you know, like I said, this person got a rock star life that it might not make it. They got addictions and bad habits and toxicity or whatever. Um, this person is a party, probably all for sucking, screwing, partying, and some more shit, okay? But like I said, they thought this person was gonna be too rock star wasted to <laughs> to the point where they weren't gonna be able to know that you didn't send this thing here on them and, and expect this here of them. You understand what I'm saying? So then there's jealousy, there's envy, there's hatred, there's spitefulness, there's competition, there's all this other shit going on. Causes a disaster in this situation when this was supposed to go down, this was set up in an effort to get a lot of money here okay a legal situation ended up coming up arising due to some incident some accident happening here um but this was a trap this was a trap okay um this person was this is victim allure trick they were tricked okay and they ended up being trapped into something here okay um also i seen something else Whatever's going with this person, like, there's something else that took place that is being covered up. Like, that was completely covered up. Um, and it tried to come out, it, it, it tried to come out here, okay? Um, yeah. See? There was, this person is in confinement. This person is imprisoned. They trapped this person. Okay, but there was some type of strategy. There was plotting and planning, planning, predicting and mind reading going on to cause this, uh, this accident on purpose here. Okay, these people are all wearing masks. They're not who they appear to be here. Okay, um, but I'm going to tell you something else. There was something else that happened during this situation, y'all, that they're not talking about. Look, dictatorship. Okay. So this person is just a puppet. There was somebody else who's the puppet master here, controlling him and everybody else that was there in this situation. This is uh, dictatorship, domination, as, as well as reluctance. So this person was reluctant to do something that they wanted him to do. And it was a trap anyway. They set this person up here, okay? They set this person up, okay? But, like I said, there was something else that took place here that is being covered up. Um, that is not being talked about, okay? And if you look here, I know I was getting ready to end this, guys, but this information just came through all of a sudden. If you look here, don't this look like the outside of a courthouse? This person was going to court. You got the 9, you got the 10 here. This person's been going to court about something that took place. Now this person is locked up. You see him with the handcuffs on, the orange jumpsuit. You see the prison cells here. This person is now locked up. They trapped this person. They set this person up, okay? But whatever whatever this case in, they ended up putting on him, they, they set this person up, and the bad thing about it, he can't even really speak out the truth or whatever. This person knows he'd have been set up, okay? But there was something else as it relates to this person and that situation that occurred that was completely covered up that's not being talked about at all, okay? Look at all these different people. There were several people there, and they were all wearing masks, okay? Okay? says deception, pretending, and constancy here, okay? Um, there was somebody who died 
at this little collaboration get together you know masquerade of fornication if you want to call it that they had going on there was a death that occurred and a loss somebody died there okay there was an ending it says endings harm inedible um, bereavement sorrow damage okay this somehow has been completely covered up this little incident that caused where somebody supposedly allegedly got hurt it was staged it was staged and this person was a was the was the fall guy it was literally staged and it was literally set up i'm gonna keep it all the way real with y'all and i'm I, you know i really hate saying allegedly because it makes it seem like you know it's a lie um what I know it isn't, but I'm going to say allegedly, okay, because, you know, but this is something that has been spake about publicly by a lot of different people, okay? Um, but I'm going to tell you, I feel like, and I had, and right before I did this reading, Spirit do this to me a lot of times. A lot of times when I see something um, and then I go to working, not even trying to, because you see me shuffle every card and pull every card and everything a message about something that I just seen or, you know, crossed my mind or I ran across my eyes or whatever will come out in a reading. I believe this is pertaining to Tory Lane's situation. Okay. Now I did a reading about him. Um, a while back, like way back when, um, when a situation had, first started and what was going on i knew he was being set up then i knew it was all bullshit it was all smoking mirrors i knew he was being set up then it was all completely garbage okay and um i knew about the situation even with um at the birthday party that they were at with transgenders being there and different things came out in that reading. Y'all have to go back and find that reading and watch it. I even knew about that or whatever. I did know that this was going to come up today, but like I said, whether this is about his situation or whether this is something else is entirely, that's, that's something that's happening with somebody else here. Okay. Because with this death and this loss here or whatever, that was a death of somebody that occurred at whatever this function or gathering or collaboration of individuals were okay i'm not saying I, i'm not saying that this celebrity had anything to do with this person but i'm saying that this situation what what they trapped this celebrity on see they trapped him in any of in confining him okay it was a trap either way they were trying to get him to sleep with a sex worker who sell ass for the devil who had a fucking illness. He would have been trapped in a fucked up situation and trapped in a bogus ass industry contract from that anyway, if he would have went along with it. But because he didn't, he was still trapped anyway, and they strategized to cause an accident, to, 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 to put a crime on him, to have him in prison. That's what happened here, okay? But this was a cover up to hide this that went on there was somebody that died at whatever this function gathering collaboration or whatever there was there was something somebody that died but this shit here has been completely buried and covered up completely hushed it's been kept out of the media and everything and this right here this situation here was a whole decoy was a whole decor to get everybody to look over here and get all the eyes, the prying eyes from this situation happening. Okay. Who this individual was, was this just some random average Joe sex worker that was trafficked in, that was shipped in, that, that was um, collateral damage, that was easily disposable, or what have you. Somebody died. But it was completely covered up by all these mass people here. All these deceptive people here. This shit was completely covered up because nobody has heard of it at all. Nobody has heard of it. 
There's been nothing that has come out about a celebrity being linked to, like, at a function and linked to a death that occurred at whatever function they was at and a death of somebody that happened there at the function. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? But with this situation, this situation here was made public. But people, a lot of people don't know. Look. You got the chess master here who's plotting, planning, and scheming and set this whole situation up. Why? In an effort to trap the celebrity here who is now like this, okay? All, either already like this or about to be like this if this is a different situation other than um, the one about Tory Lanez. And like I said, I'm not saying that he had anything to do with this death that occurred, but this situation here was a whole decoy and a cover up to to keep eyes away from this here. Why this why this get cleaned up, okay? They sent in the fixers, men in black cleanup crew, whatever fuck you want to call them, to clean this up cuz nobody ever even heard about this. Okay? But this whole situation here, okay? You got a dictator here, the puppet master, controlling all the puppets that was at this 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 function, plotting and planning and scheming. This whole situation, everything, and the disaster happened. The whole situation is being set up. Everything that was supposed to go down is about money. Okay? But they were trying to initiate this celebrity here, whoever this person is against their will in some type of way to get them involved or to do something that they didn't want to do or something and like i said this person is is you know live that rock star lifestyle sex drugs rock and roll they all for it okay but they sent in this false person this 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 jezebel Sexual demon. Just so that just so happened to be, and this is the reason why she draped in this red here. Even the hair is red and everything here. Okay, this person is not only transgender, but this person is a sex worker, and this person also they sent in somebody that they knew was in fix. So so not only was they trying to get this celebrity to be with this person here. They was trying to trap this person by um, causing them to contract something as well. Okay? But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that there. But that's what's going on here. Okay? It was a lose-lose situation for this person either way. Yeah. It was a little, little situation for this person either way. But there was a legal situation that arised from this this, situ this situation. And like I said, um, if this does not have anything to do with Tory Lane's situation, there's definitely another celebrity out here that this, that this could be currently going on with right now. Um, perhaps something that, you know, is about to occur. Has just occurred something that may hit, you know, media and different things or whatever, especially with a major incident or accident being strategized and going down and this person being trapped or set up in some type of way and going to end up in prison in some type of way or whatever. That's obviously something that would make mainstream media news. Okay. But that's what's going on here, y'all, okay? So, um, like I said, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Yeah, this dictator here was like coaching this person on something. And I feel like this person may have flat out refused something or or something here. We got fright here. Okay. So now this person has been in fright has been frightened, dealing with depression, phobias, paranoia, all over this legal situation here because they were set up.
something was strategized to set this this accident up, this incident up to cause some type of danger, caution, or injury to someone here to trap them. It was done on purpose here, okay? But with this endorsement here, somebody was bribed, persuaded, tempted to take some type of money to do something, okay? And it caused a conflict. It caused an argument, a fight, a misunderstanding, a disagreement here, okay? Um, and somebody was mad as hell behind the situation, okay? But there's something else in the shadow, something else in the cut, okay? Because besides that situation going on, I feel like there was other things that was going on wherever the hell they was at, and this happened at the same location, okay? Um, but it was smooth. This, this right here is covered up has been buried like literally okay and I'm seeing fate here something something was faded something was faded to occur to happen or something okay yeah this definitely caused disturbance here okay yeah and they they mm -mm. they trapped this person and got this person in confinement here trying to come to some type of compromise so you got this person in lock up trying to come to some type of force them to come to some type of compromise okay agreement reconciliation consideration like you know or some shit like that or what have you um you know, putting a person in a compromising situation to kind of force their hand to say, you know, well, okay, I, you know, that's bullshit. Okay. So anyway, guys, thanks all for listening and for watching. Till the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.